Alright then, so here's an update on the candlelight drone. So, originally I said that I was going to release a video every week, uh, but as things have turned out, uh, I've been waiting on parts and I've been pretty busy, so it's two weeks now. Um, it shouldn't be too much of an issue because it means we can go through more each instalment of the little series that I'm doing. So, all of the parts, barring a few really important ones like bolts, came. So, I'm almost in a position to fully build it now but just not quite because I'm waiting on just a few things coming from China and wherever else. The 3D printed parts came, first of all. These came from a website called 3D Print UK and uh, I would really strongly recommend it actually. They were a lot cheaper than I expected it would be. They were actually cheaper than the laser cut parts. Yeah, so the 3D printing is actually printed in nylon. Uh, it's SLS printing which is a thin layer of powder uh, is actually welded layer by layer by laser rather than extruded out of a, a heated nozzle like uh, most home 3D printing is. Uh, it uses a type of nylon called PA220 and it's actually amazingly strong. So I ordered about six of each clip because I wanted a few spares uh, because I didn't fully trust in the design of them. They're actually uh, sort of a weak shape um, but after playing with it for a little bit, I found they're actually unbelievably strong. I couldn't break it with my bare hands, uh, trying as hard as I could. And since another hobby of mine is strength sports, my grip strength is actually pretty strong. These grippers that I'm using here are 200 pounds, uh, which is actually supposedly life-saving levels of grip strength, uh, as the manufacturer claims. So I bought a load of these little threaded inserts off Amazon. I've got them from Sourcing Map, which is where I get a lot of stuff actually off Amazon. They're really cheap, just tiny little inserts, and using a soldering iron I was actually able to melt them into the 3D printed nylon. And this gives a really great thread that I can just thread straight into and not have to worry about uh, damaging the nylon at all. So I was a little bit unsure if this would work uh, how I had in mind, but it turned out to work really well actually. You'll see um, all of them went in without any problem at all, and it went together really smoothly. I was really actually pleased. So as for the laser cutting, that was actually a really great service too, I would recommend that as well. Uh, that was called Razor Lab. They actually worked out pretty much the same price for all the laser cut parts and all the 3D printed parts. So I had the outer curvature of the sphere. Uh, I had that laser cut in plywood, uh, just 3mm plywood and it's pretty strong. It, it doesn't need to be super strong but uh, it's nice and lightweight and it was nice and cheap as well. Um, and for all the little fins, I have that uh, laser cutting mount board, which obviously isn't super strong, but it doesn't need to be really. It's, uh, it's only going to redirect the airflow, it doesn't need to be dead strong. Um, so I'm really happy with the way they went. Uh, you can see on some of the little fins, I have uh, little designs etched into there actually. There's uh, one for the Arduino logo, and there's one for the Instructables logo, just for uh, a little bit of flair, you know. Uh, so I really like the way they have come out, they're really crisp and really dimensionally accurate, like everything that I've ordered, I'm really happy with it all actually. So yeah, I started putting everything together just to test how it would go together and it all went together great. Uh, my only problem really is the little bearings tend to stick at certain angles that they can be rotated to, which isn't really going to be a problem in this project, but it is a little bit annoying. Um, and it could actually just be to do with the housing that I've designed, maybe I couldn't have expected it to be perfectly accurate enough to house the bearings how I had wanted. But it seems to work fine, it's going to be fine for my purposes anyway, so not a problem really. So if this is the first video of mine that you've stumbled upon, I would encourage you to subscribe, because uh, you'll get to see more of this project. Uh, it's going to be really great what it's done. Um, I have really high hopes for it. And while you're here, you might as well have a look through some of my other videos. Uh, there's a little bit of all sorts on here. There's something for everyone. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching.